I hope you're excited to start RMF Step 3, Implement Security Controls. What we've done up to now it was the potato. This part is the meat of your SSP. Get it? Meat and potatoes? No? Alright. Before we talk about how to implement security control, I want you to first understand how each security control is formatted in the NIST 853 Revision 5 document. Go ahead and do a search for it. Just type NIST 853 Revision 5 comma site colon nist.gov. Go ahead and select the appropriate link. Select revision 5 publication. Now I want you to drop down on the section called the controls. For our review, I'm going to select security control AC12. I think this is a fairly easy security control to understand. Go ahead and drop down on the access control menu and select AC12 session termination. I want you to note, each control starts off with a control title, and right below it is the control requirement. In our example, AC12, the title is Session Termination. The control requirement is a description of what the control wants you to do. The requirement states, the information system automatically terminates a user session after an organization defined condition or trigger event requiring session disconnect. If you don't understand what that control requirement mean, the next section of the control is called discussion. This provides you with supplemental guidance. This further explains the security control requirements so you can understand it better. The final section is titled related controls. This part reveals other security controls that addresses session control. This is a good way to group your questions together in case you have a chance to speak with an admin that knows about session controls. If you look below Security Control AC12, you will see the next section called Control Enhancements. These are separate but related security controls, AC12.1, AC12.2, and AC12.3. The Control Enhancement section dig deeper on the topic the primary security control requirement presented. Now that you understand how the NIST 853 controls are formatted, let's talk about RMF Step 3. This is where we will write implementation statement against all applicable and hybrid security controls. The control requirement tells you how NIST thinks you should apply the security control. However, the implementation statement declares how your organization complies or plan to comply with the control. Let's start by writing a statement for AC12, shall we? If you're having trouble understanding the control requirement, I strongly recommend you break it down into pieces and then put it back together in your own words like this. The information system is HopeNet. That's the system we are writing our SSP for. Automatically terminates. Automatically means without human action and terminate means to end. A user session. When I log into HopeNet devices like laptops, switches, and routers with my credentials, I will get access. That period of access is a session. After organization defined condition. The organization decides the condition they want the session to automatically terminate. If we put it all together in my own words, we get HopeNet automatically log employees out when a certain condition happens. This condition is determined by the system owner or the authorizing official. Let's say we ask the system owner what the condition should be for automatic logout. And let's say the system owner says an activity for 15 minutes should do it. I would also want to ask the system admin what tools do we use to control user sessions on the network. Let's say the system admin says there are two different types of um, tools that we use. Workstations and servers have their own management through Active Directory and network device sessions are managed through a software called TACAX. Alright, now we have all the information of how we, HopeNet, comply with this security control. So now we can write the implementation statement for this control. In my case, I will write it as such. HopeNet manages two different types of user sessions on the network. Workstations and servers, which is managed by Active Directory, and network devices, which is managed by a software called TACAX. Both sessions are set to automatically terminate after 15 minutes of an activity. Did you get all that? If you didn't, go back and rewind till it makes sense to you. We will give more examples, but please understand you will need to write many implementation statements like these in order to complete your SSP. In the next section, we will need to practice more implementation statement writing. This time around, 
I'm going to give you step-by-step -step strategies for writing a good implementation statement. Stay tuned.